everyone, it's Jillian and for today's video I thought it would be so much fun if I did another get ready with me video. You guys said you enjoyed the last one so I'm so excited to be filming another one. So this get ready with me is going to be a chit chat one. I'm going to talk to you guys whilst I do my makeup. It's just going to be really casual and fun and I'm so excited to just sit here and hang out with you guys as I get ready. Now if this is my first video that you're seeing then hello my name is Jillian and I am so so happy that you have found my channel and if you would like to see more videos from me in the future and you haven't already subscribed then just go ahead and click that subscribe button and then when I upload a new video you'll be able to see it. So I am so ready to start putting some makeup on, I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. Alrighty so the first thing I'm going to be starting with today is moisturiser, I have absolutely nothing on my face right now and it is feeling so dry so today I'm going to be using the Origins 3 part Harmony face cream and I'm really liking this at the moment it's more of like a heavy face cream but I feel like my face has been quite dry lately especially because where I live we're heading into the colder months so I think this is perfect for my skin at the moment so I'm just going to be dotting this all over my face and then rubbing it in oh I can just like feel all the hydration just like going into my skin. <laughs> so now I'm just going to be applying some lip balm to my lips. I like applying lip balm before I start my makeup so then while I'm doing my makeup my lips get nice and moisturized and then by the time I'm finished they're ready for lip products. So today I'm using the Mecca Cosmetica Lip Delicious Night Lip Treatment. Okay so now I just feel like my whole face is moisturized and I am ready to start the makeup. So today I'm going to be starting off with my eyes because I'm going to be using glitter today. I asked on Twitter what kind of look I should do in my get ready with me and glitter was by far the most popular and I'm so excited because I love glitter. Okay so I'm just gonna zoom you guys in so you can see more of what I'm doing. I feel like you guys are like so far away right now. Okay so I think you guys are nice and close now. So to start with my eyes I first like to go in with something to prime them and I love using concealer and powder. That's just my favorite way to prep the eyes. So for concealer on my eyes today, I'm of course going to be using my Tarte Shape Tape. I talked about this in my current favourites video and I am still loving it so much. So I'm just going to place some of this Shape Tape on my eyelids and then taking a damp beauty blender, I'm just going to blend this out. Okay, so now to set that concealer, I'm just going to be going in with a little bit of my face powder and just a fluffy brush just to set the concealer so it won't crease. So like I said, I'm going to be doing a look today using glitter and I'm really excited. I love anything sparkly and glittery and I recently picked up some pressed glitter shadows and these are so beautiful and I can't wait to use them more. I've only used them once so far so I'm excited to see how they go today. Okay, so today I think I want to do a really bronzy, beautiful eye makeup look. Hopefully it turns out how I see it in my head. So today I'm going to be using a new eyeshadow palette that I just got in the mail. I completely even forgot that I ordered it because I pre-ordered it so long ago but it just turned up and it is the Carly Bible Deluxe Edition BH Cosmetics eyeshadow and highlighter palette and it is so beautiful first of all I love the packaging and then once you open it up this is what the palette looks like it's just got some highlighters down the bottom and then up the top you have your eyeshadows and I'm excited to see what the quality and the pigmentation is going to be like hopefully they're really nice so I'm gonna start off by using my favorite crease brush and this is the Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Brush. I love this brush so much. So the first shadow I'm going to be going in with is this one in the top corner and it's just a really pretty light brown which I think is going to be perfect for my transition colour. Oop, I'm dropping my brush. <laughs> so I'm just going to take a little bit of that on my brush and then start working it into my crease. <laughs> Okay, so that didn't do as much as I wanted it to, so I'm going to be taking this shade here as well and I'm just going to, again, use the same brush and go into my crease with that colour. So I want this video to be like a really chatty, casual video where I just like let you guys know what I've been up to lately and what's going on in my life, but I feel like I'm not very chatty when I do my makeup because I just like concentrate so much and like get in the zone, so I'm just going to have to remind myself to talk. <laughs> So a lot of you guys have been asking um, about what's going on with Echo. If you didn't know, Echo is my Labrador puppy. She just turned one 
that first year went so quickly. I can't believe my baby is already one. That is crazy. So some of you may have seen that on Twitter at the start of the year I was talking about some issues that Echo was having. Basically it started with we took it to the vet because on the left side of her head she had like a dent. It was as if like part of her skull was missing. Like if she'd look at you you could just see that like one side of her head was lower, she didn't have as much movement in her left ear and we were quite concerned about it so we took her to the vet ASAP and um, we brought her in and the vet had a quick look at her, like poked her around and examined her head and basically told us that it was cancer and for one we were not expecting that news at all because we just were like it's just a dent she's just a baby how could it be cancer and she was like you know it's cancer and we're like is there anything else it could be and she's like no no like this this looks like cancer and then basically just like shuffled us out the door and gave us a referral to a neurologist at a specialist animal hospital and so we were freaking out of course um, we were not expecting that news we just thought she had a dent in her head but the vet was like you know it's cancer and she said so casually which was like eh and then sent us on our way so quickly again using that same brush I'm now gonna be going in with this darker chocolate brown color and just deepening up the crease further so we made an appointment for Echo to see the neurologist down at Sash that's like a big popular hospital where I live in Sydney and we made it for as soon as possible and of course for that like week between appointments we were just like freaking out because it was just the most unexpected news like she was seriously just a baby and we just weren't prepared for it and the fact that she said like it could be nothing else like that was it and we were like sure like is it was there anything else it could be and she was like no so we were like a bit panicky it was not a very good week so we took her in to see the neurologist and basically the neurologist was stumped she was examining her skull she was poking it there was like multiple people looking at her head and basically they'd never really seen anything like it they couldn't figure out what it was just because it was not something they recognized so we booked her in for a CT scan just so they could get like a better look at her head and to see what was going on so we went in for the results and basically Echo has a deformity she has a deformed skull so yeah that is what is up with Echo um, they have never seen it before the neurologist who has been a neurologist for so 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 many years has never seen it before and that's why they were so stumped when they were examining her but basically if you look at her CT scans it's quite scary actually because you look at her like front on and she's just like missing like half her skull and also like because of that her muscles she's losing muscle mass so that's why she doesn't have much movement in that ear either I don't know where I'm really going with this eye look <laughs> I feel like I'm just blending 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 so now I'm just gonna be taking this a fluffy little smudge brush and I'm just gonna take this bronzy really pretty color down here and I'm just gonna really focus this I think just on the outer third and maybe a little bit up into the crease I don't know I'll see how it goes so yeah that is what is up with Echo we've taken her back for an MRI just a few weeks ago so they could have an even like better look at what was going on inside her head and it's not affecting her brain at all which is awesome her brain like formed completely normal um, she's also stopped growing so that was a really awesome thing as well we were worried that she would like keep growing but her skull on that side wouldn't um, and what else basically at the moment she's good it's all good we don't know what the future holds we don't know if she's gonna have issues further down the line just because it is affecting so much of that side of her head but other than that we've just got a rather unusual looking dog she's still super adorable she kind of has like a tiny head so <laughs> she's really cute so I'm just gonna be taking this shade down in the bottom corner right here and I'm gonna be taking this on a <laughs> shading brush and I think I'm not sure where I'm gonna apply this just yet but we'll see <laughs> This is 
a really pretty color. Oh my gosh. I love it so much. So pretty. I'm just going to take a makeup removal wipe just to get rid of some of that fallout. Always, always blending. Alrighty, so now it is time for the glitter. I've been waiting for this. This is my favorite part. So the glitter I'm going to be using today is this bronze one right here. I now have glitter all over my fingers. But first I'm going to apply some glitter glue to my lids just so that the glitter sticks. So this is the Too Faced Glitter Glue. And I'm just going to be taking, I think we'll use this brush today. It's just a really dense flat brush and I'm just going to be applying the glitter glue to my eyelid space so wherever I want the glitter to be. So now using that same brush to pick up the glitter. I don't want to spill this everywhere. And now I'm just going to press the glitter onto my eyelids and it should hopefully stick to the glitter glue. I love glitter so much. Oh, it's just like the prettiest thing in the world. <laughs> I'm just going to go in with the Zoeva crease brush again just to really softly and gently just soften up the line where the glitter meets the eyeshadow. So I think that's it for the eyes at the moment. I'm just going to take a makeup remove wipe and remove any of that glitter fallout. So now moving on to my face, I'm first going to be using a primer and today I'm using the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer and I'm still trying this out. I only just got it and I'm still trying to decide if I love it. So hard with primers. I don't know if it's the primer or if it's the foundation or the powder or I don't know, you just, I just don't know if it's the primer that's like making my makeup look good or like all the other things. So this is quite a thick primer but I do think it really helps with the complexion and like smoothing out all my pores. So for foundation today I'm going to be using a stick foundation and I'm using the Hourglass Vanish foundation and this is in the shade Shell. I really want to try out more stick foundations, this is the first one and the only one that I've tried but I think they're really quick to apply and I like that you don't have to get like foundation all over your fingers. And to blend it out today I'm going to be using a damp beauty blender. I feel like beauty blenders work really well with thicker foundations. You guys, I really want to start like vlogging. I've got all the like right equipment I need to vlog. I just need to like make myself do it. You guys have been like requesting vlogs but I just don't know if I'd be any good at it. I feel like my life's not like super interesting enough. I don't know. I think I just need to like try it and then, you know, I'm only going to get better at it if I practice. So yeah, I think I really want to start vlogging. So you guys like want to see vlogs from me? I see it requested in the comments all the time for me to do some vlogs. So I don't know, maybe I'll try it out. Now for concealer, I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape again. This concealer never lets me down. I ordered a pair of sunglasses in the mail the other day and they turned up this morning and they were broken! Oh, so upset. I was so excited to wear them. Like today like right now but like half of them are broken off <laughs> so now I'm just gonna be setting all those liquid products in place otherwise they will slip right off my face and as always I'm using my Australis fresh and flawless pressed powder I guess I'm gonna try it super hard not to spill this powder everywhere so I'm just going to finish off my eye area and I'm first going to start by doing my brows and today for that I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade and this is in the shade Medium Brown and I'm just going to be using this with an angled brush. Why, why, why? How do you get by, by, by? Alright, so now that my brows are done, the struggle is always so real. One day, hopefully, brows will become easier. 
but today is not that day. <laughs> so I am now going to move on to my lower lash line and just finish up the eyes. So just going back in with the Kylie Bible palette, I'm going to go in with this shade right here again and just take this along my lower lash line. Okay, so for my inner corner highlight today, I'm going to be taking this Diamond Glow Powder from Artist Couture, and this is in the shade Gold Digger, and I'm just going to take that on a small brush and place that on the inner corner of my eyes just to brighten them up a little bit. So I'm just going to take some liquid liner, and this is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the shade Trooper, and I'm just going to apply this along my upper lash line so that when I apply false lashes, they blend better with my natural lashes. Now for mascara on my upper and lower lashes, and today I'm using the Maybelline Great Lash mascara. So for false lashes today I'm going to be using these ones from House of Lashes and these are in the style Smoky Muse and they're really really wispy but still nice and thick and I think they'll go really well with this look. Alright so now I'm just going to bronze up the face and to do that today I'm going to be using the Too Faced Sweethearts bronzer and how cute is the packaging of this one and this is just what it looks like and what brush should I use? So I'm just going to be taking on this small fluffy brush and yeah, let's just bronze up my face. So I've seen a lot of comments asking if I could do a room tour and I am planning on doing a room tour really really soon. I'm just waiting for something to turn up from Etsy for my room but I'm pretty sure when that turns up I will finally be able to do a room tour and I'm super Super excited. I hope you guys like my room. I think it's my most requested video ever, so I promise that will be coming soon. And now I'm going to contour my nose, and to use that, I'm going to be using the Bula bronzing powder from Benefit and this NARS brush that's like really flat and squished, so it's perfect for contouring. taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and I love this thing so much and I'm just going to be taking these two light shades over here and I'm just going to apply this under my eyes and just down the center of my face. And then for blush today I'm going to be using this one from NYX and this is in the shade Terracotta and this is such a pretty bronzy shade which I think is going to look really pretty today with this look. Hopefully. And then to highlight today, I'm going to be taking a champagne pop from Becca, and this is such a beautiful shade. And I'm just going to apply this to the tops of my cheekbones, the end of my nose, and a little bit on my brow bone as well. I'm going to be using a liquid lipstick from A Dose of Colors and this one is in the shade Sand and it's just a nude liquid lipstick. And now for the last step, I'm just going to be taking some MAC Fix Plus and spraying this all over my face and this just melts the makeup together and just makes it look nicer. I just really love using this. I've been using MAC Fix Plus for like five years. So yeah, I'm just going to spray a bit of this all over my face. <laughs> Alright, so that is it for the makeup. I'm just going to go and quickly curl my hair so we can finish off the look. Okay, so I'm back and I've done my hair. I actually ended up straightening it. But this is the finished look. I am so, so happy with how it turned out. I am loving glitter at the moment and I'm just so excited to play around with it even more. So I just feel really glowy and golden and bronze today. I'm obsessed with this eye look and I'm loving Carly Bible's new palette. It's so stunning. So I hope you guys enjoyed this chit chat. Get ready with me. Let me know if you would like to see more videos like this in the future and also let me know in the comments below if you have any other videos you would like to see me do on this channel. If you like the video, it would be awesome if you let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, don't forget to click that subscribe button for more videos. Thank you so much for watching. I love you to the moon and back. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!